Welcome, welcome. Pelk English course is back for more language learning fun. Uh, we've come to rule number four of our Speak English Fluently series, and it's the idea of chunks in spoken English. Uh, when you speak English, you should not be thinking about perfect grammar or translating from your first language into English. Because English is very much a language of chunks, fixed phrases and collocations. So these sentences that you speak, they're really just groups of words put together. You've got one group of words in the first part, and you've got another group of words, and you've got another group of words, and another group of words. So these sentences are not really grammatical. They're not as grammatical as you think. Uh, and when you speak English, you know, these English collocations and phrases that you're picking up and practicing every day, they should be swimming in your brain. So chunks, yes, the idea of chunks, these are groups of words that can be found together in a language. Uh, a few examples of chunks, what have we got? As soon as, uh, by the way, then we've got collocations such as catch a cold. To demonstrate my beliefs in, let's look at this sentence. I caught a cold just last week, so I wasn't able to attend the conference. I caught a cold just last week, so I wasn't able to attend the conference. Let's not analyse the grammar. Let's break the sentence down into different parts. Number one, I caught a cold. Two, just last week. Three, I wasn't able. And we can put the word so before that because we've got a, a result here really of, of an action caught a cold, so I wasn't able to attend a conference, so, so I wasn't able, or I wasn't able. And number four, attend a conference. Uh, yes, you can put the word to before attend, it's an infinitive, but we're not analysing the grammar, we're analysing here the groups of words. So, one, I caught a cold, two, just last week, three, I wasn't able, four, attend a conference. Four groups of words, four chunks, Let's not analyse the grammar. So once you've mastered these chunks and they're familiar to you, you can begin to apply them in other situations. So let's look at this sentence. I caught a cold on Monday, so I wasn't able to go for that meal with Ken. Can you see what's changed from the first sentence? I caught a cold on Monday, so I wasn't able to go for that meal with Ken. I caught a cold stays the same. We've changed just last week to on Monday, so I wasn't able, plus infinitive two, remains the same, go for that meal, fixed group of words, with Ken. I caught a cold on Monday, so I wasn't able to go for that meal with Ken. So we're reusing these chunks and adding different chunks and collocations around chunks you may have already mastered or chunks you already know. So in conclusion, for our rule number four, Speak English Fluently series. English is a language of chunks and phrases, fixed phrases, semi-fixed phrases. Uh, it's not a language of grammar. Don't analyse the grammar. And that's it from me today. All the best. See you soon.